Welcome to a lesson on exact first order differential equations. A differential equation m of x comma y dx plus n of x comma y dy equals zero, or the equation in this form here, is an exact differential equation in a region R in the xy plane if the left side of the equation, this side here, corresponds to the differential of some function f of x comma y. And remember, if our function f of x comma y equals a constant c, then its differential here must equal zero. So the partial derivative of f with respect to x must equal n of x comma y, and the partial derivative of f with respect to y must equal n of x comma y. And we can use this information to find our function f of x comma y, and therefore solve this differential equation if it's exact. So the first step on these types of problems is to determine if the given differential equation is exact. The test for exactness is to see if the partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to the partial derivative of n with respect to x. So if this is true, we have an exact differential equation, and therefore solve it by finding f of x comma y equals c by using this connection here. So to summarize this, if we know the differential equation is exact, then we can find the function f of x comma y by solving these two equations here. Let's take a look at an example. Our first step is to identify our function m, which in this case will be 2xy, and our function n, which will be x squared minus one. And now we'll test to see if this is an exact differential equation by finding the partial derivative of m with respect to y and the partial derivative of n with respect to x. If these are equal, then the differential equation is exact. So treating x as a constant here, the derivative with respect to y would just be two x, and the derivative of x squared minus one with respect to x would also be two x. So this means we do have an exact differential equation. Which means our solution will be our function f of x comma y equals a constant c, and we can find our function f of x comma y using these two equations here. So if we know the partial derivative of f with respect to x must equal m of x comma y, and if we integrate both sides of this equation with respect to x, we'll recover the x part of our function f of x comma y, which means f of x comma y must be equal to the integral of m of x comma y, which is two x y, with respect to x. Now keep in mind when we integrate here, because our function f is a function of two variables, we'll only be recovering the x part of this function. So f of x comma y is going to be equal to, integrating with respect to x, we would have two times x squared divided by two, so the twos would simplify out, so we'd have x squared y. But then to show we've only recovered the x part of the function, not the y part, we'd have plus a function of y, let's call it h of y. So now if we can find h of y, we'll have f of x comma y, and therefore we can find our solution to the differential equation. So now we'll use this second equation here, where we know the partial derivative of f with respect to y must equal n of x comma y. So what we'll do now is we'll find the derivative of f with respect to y, and set it equal to n of x comma y, which we know is x squared minus one. So here's our function f, and now we'll find the derivative with respect to y, so we'll treat x as a constant. So here we would have x squared plus the derivative of h of y, which would just be h prime of y. And again, this must equal n, which is x squared minus one. So from here, we should be able to conclude that since this is x squared and this is x squared, h prime of y must equal negative one, So 
So now we can recover h of y if we integrate both sides of this equation with respect to y. So we'll integrate here and here with respect to y. So here the integration and derivative will undo each other. So we have h of y must equal, this would just be negative y. Now we have all the information we need to find the solution to this differential equation. By using this information here and knowing h of y is equal to negative y. So if our solution is going to be in this form here, then we know that x squared y, then plus h of y, where h of y is negative y, or minus y equals c, would be the general solution to the given differential equation, which is an exact differential equation. So this is a family of solutions, and now we can actually show some of the solutions by selecting constants for c. And to show this graphically, I've selected the following values of c and then graphed the functions. So each color here corresponds to one of the many solutions to the exact differential equation. And we'll take a look at a second example in the next video.